Uh, we are here with George from Iconic Studio Creations. Um, and George, what is your official title now? We now have an official title for you. Official title for Iconic Studio Creations. You are now the official... BBC licensee for the TARDIS and a few other props as well. Now that's really exciting. How long was that process for you to, to get that official endorsement? Well, it's actually almost a two year process and uh, it, it basically came down to persistence and quality, I think, and BBC wanted that and we delivered. Now, did you approach them originally or did they approach you? Did they know what you were doing? Well, it's a funny story. I mean, I've been prop building for nearly 30 years and uh, my business partner, Alex, and myself uh, one day decided let's just, just go for it because the UK, there's a company in the UK that only had it for 30 years and we thought, well, let's just do something for Australia yeah. or the Southern Hemisphere. So um, the negotiations took place and you actually, uh, you were taken over to the UK, to Cardiff. We, yes, we actually went there. We went through their archives. We actually measured up. We saw all the original uh, props. Uh, we were in heaven. <laughs> now that was a really exciting thing that you've told me. You actually got to measure the, the TARDIS and get all the specific details which no other prop makers get to do. That's exactly right. I mean, you know, we fought hard for it and we actually said to them we'd like to go over there and a uh, few phone calls, got all the right people. Uh, we made a lot of good friends in, in good places, uh, and yeah, we they, we literally had the the run of the mill over there, and uh, but they knew that we respected the props, so that's why they did it. Now, how do you? Um, I, I like how you told me you got the job uh, through showing one of your other props, which isn't related to Doctor Who. Oh, absolutely. Um, it was a personal prop that I built. Uh, I actually built the definitive R2D2 from Episode Four. Uh, I wanted him to be dirty. I wanted him to look exactly the way it um, it appeared when I first saw him in the opening scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fell in love with him back then and um, we took him and we took a version of Canine in there and you know when we walked into the studios you know you got people typing away and this and that and you got all this ambient noise. If, if you ever could hear a pin drop <laughs> it was it was like that and uh, they, they just couldn't believe that, that I couldn't believe that they did that. Now, so, yeah. now there's a uh, there's quite a few people in Australia, just in Australia, who, who and like make TARDISes and stuff like that. Is it a is it a is it a friendly organisation? Is it a sociable group? Is it quite competitive amongst the other prop makers within like the Who universe? Oh look, I mean, there are a lot of fanboys that are out there, and there are a lot of great clubs. There are a lot of great people. Um, look, they've been doing it for a while, and when somebody comes along and they've fought for, you know, to be official. Of course, you know, you, you'll get a few people with their noses out of joint, but, you know, we soon, you know, have spoken to them and said, guys, we're not interested in stepping on your toes and, you know, by all means do what you need to do. I said, look, we only answer to towards the BBC with our licensing. Um, we're not interested in getting involved with any of, you know, yeah. legalities. That's up to them. Um, you know, we're just happy that you guys are around because technically you're endorsing us, so... Uh, why would we step on anyone's toes and we just want to be, ha you know, share the love. Exactly. It's all about sharing the love down here. Um, now, last question with us. Uh, you were involved in the national tour of the science of Doctor Who. Uh, and how was that having your TARDIS and your canine involved in that tour with a fabulous, fabulous comedic host I hear? Well, okay, right. this, is where, this is where the money comes in, okay, George, don't forget, don't, 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 don't hold out on me. Okay, this is the money jar. This is the money. <laughs> okay, well, to be honest with you, um, I'm very. Ex I was very excited to, to uh, have uh, BBC ask me to build a specific prop for them for this tour. It did go with the Symphonic Spectacular as well, yeah. but because you know, I happen to know you. It's 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 not, you know, wh why would anyone else not have Rob Lloyd go and do and do this? Um, it's the best endorsement I actually really had. <laughs> Uh, to look, to look just like my favourite doctor, uh, you know, my wife just just thinks you're the bee's knees, and she still doesn't realise that you're not the real David Tennant. So it's uh, getting a bit sexy right now. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to talk about some other uh, appearances and endorsement of a different kind, George. Uh, thanks so much for your time and all the best. Uh, it's it's you do amazing work, and uh, we'll see you around. Oh, thank you, mate, and I hope it all goes well for you. And I'm, I always look forward to working with you. So, Pleasure. thank you. Thanks, mate.